everyone welcome to another video it's Francesco here so in this video we're actually going to be focusing on Evernote 8.0 the update and how Evernote have actually redesigned their iOS application to include a better design a faster experience and style so let's kick off with the design one of the core things that has changed is the navigation four core areas of your Evernote experience they are notes search shortcuts and account the main section of your Evernote experience is your notes and this will display all of your notes at once. Now you can actually change the layout of all of these to either a small, medium or large cards as well as a handful of sort by and note previews. They've also included the pull to sync experience so that you can actually sync your notes on the go which is great. Access to all of the notebooks is very simple, all you do is tap at the top and out comes all of the notebooks that you have inside of your Evernote organized into stacks. Now many people have criticized this because they are very hidden, but for me, I don't mind it at the moment. Now the InNote design has changed dramatically. It's a very minimalistic setup. You have access to the text size, color, and any formatting you have. You've also got hidden menus as well in the bottom right hand corner for all of the access to things like creating the audio, the sketches, and also taking any attachments or files to each of the notes. All of the features work the same as they did in the previous application. The design sort of dramatically changed. Now moving on to the speed of Evernote, a couple of things have changed. So up at the top, you can access the reminders and also the filters. So you can actually see this via the main feed. Now they've also improved the pull down. Apparently the sync is slightly faster. Again, since they changed to the Google Cloud, I've seen a slightly faster syncing, which is pretty impressive. Down at the bottom, you've got this magical plus button now. The plus button opens up and you can attach photos, uh, reminders, and also notes, obviously, from there, which is pretty cool. The general access to the formatting as well is very simple and it is a lot smoother. So this actually increases your speed when creating notes. Now, if you compare this to Bear's app, I slightly like Bear's app a little more, although Evernote have included some really beautiful design tweaks I think Bear's access across all of that bar is much more intuitive. Another thing in terms of speed is you can hold down on your account uh, profile down in the bottom right hand corner and you can switch accounts quickly. This is perfect for any business user of Evernote and personal account user of Evernote. One real quick change that I like is the new shortcuts button on the bottom navigation bar. This was a really impressive change and having this actually increases the speed of accessing all of those notes that I use on a regular basis. Now in terms of style, everything's coordinated around a card design, so you've now got a card layout for most of the notes, uh, and obviously you can adapt that as I mentioned at the start. The font is slightly different as well, if you go, you can see it more prevalent when you're searching through your notes, but they've really made the font more consistent inside the app, which makes the whole experience feel a bit more Evernote-y, as well as adding the timestamp in another color. The color abilities inside the note design is pretty impressive as well, um, and I'm impressed as well with the search style as well. So the entire style of the application has adapted. Now in terms of my opinions on the application, I've been using this for oh, just over a week now and I'm very impressed. I think the update has refined everything and made it more simple. The real question is, has it come too late? Now Evernote have struggled for a while and they have improved with their onboarding experience over the last couple of months. Now in terms of mentioning bloated features, I think this really does help that. They've obviously taken a few leafs out of Bear Notes book, made everything quite minimal, quite hidden away a lot of stuff um, so that you can find it for later. And I like the way that they've done that because this will help new users and existing users to confirm stuff. Anyway guys, I'm really impressed with the new Evernote application. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this new update and I'm looking forward to hearing them from you. If you like this video, hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and I'm looking forward to sharing a few more videos with you. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.